The solvent trap is an optional tool for the Peltier plate that is helpful in slowing down the evaporation of a solvent when performing rheological tests. In this tech tip, we will learn when and how use the solvent trap on your DHR rheometer. Samples like dispersions and hydrogels can lose water through evaporation when tested for long times or at high temperatures. The solvent trap is intended to create an environment saturated with a proper solvent, for example, water. As you can see in this picture, the solvent is put in a well on the geometry and quickly saturates the small space around the sample, thus hindering evaporation. The difference between using and not using the solvent trap can be significant, especially on long experiments. The drift of water viscosity over time is due to the reduced amount of water actually closed between the geometry and the Peltier plate. Using the solvent trap is very easy. First, you must choose your geometry and make sure it has the solvent trap well. Then, you fit the centering ring on the Peltier plate. Before performing the geometry inertia calibration, it is recommended to fill the well with the proper solvent in order to take the mass of the solvent into account. You can do this with a syringe or a pipette. Make sure the whole surface of the well is covered when you do this. After loading the sample as usual, you just have to fit in place the two halves of the solvent trap cover, without worrying about touching any part of the geometry. You are now ready to start your experiment. In this TA Tech Tip, we discussed how and when to use the solvent trap on your DHR rheometer to slow down the evaporation of a solvent. Please stay tuned for more informative tips from TA Instruments.